a black hole MPU that uh, came in playing the wrong sounds. And I suspect the real issue was the sound select dip switches 25, 6, and 7 here had failed. Also, the 74, 7432 with the gold dot on it had failed, so I replaced it. I abated some alkaline corrosion over here, installed a few new components, and a modern reset generator there, the Dallas Maxim 1811. Installed NVRAM, updated the game ROM to the Dash 4 version on Black Hole. The Dash 2 version has a problem with balls getting stuck in the cellar. And uh, added the Slam Switch mod. And it is in my black hole. Here, I'll show you my Speedomatic switch for the spinning disc. That's an old volume pot that I put the resistance in line with the new motor that I installed quite some time ago. So I could mimic the exact speed of the original black hole um, motor. So I'm going to try to play a little black hole and demonstrate the sounds here. Here we go. So that startup sound, you also heard the credit sound, and that is because I have a jumper across some uh, switch diodes in there that automatically adds a credit when I hit the credit button. So let's play. See if I can get some voice. Not on a gravity well now. Ah. Here, the re entry attempt has failed. If I failed to get it back up to the main play field. Oh. Capture hole. be able to hear G-Force accelerated. The hardest shot in pinball is the one you're trying to demonstrate. multiplier just said shoot captive hole which is correct it's making the wind sounds downstairs which is correct and I just completed a target bank Played about a million games of black hole 
and the CPU board is commanding the correct sounds now. Well, I'm going to get it back to the customer along with his updated power supply. And he can get back to playing some Black Hole, which by the way is a great game. Let me see if I can hit the C and the K. So, there we go. Ah, one more shot at the K. force accelerated. All right, I think that's about enough. I'm going to consider this one good. Thank you so much.